Cheryl Abrigo with USF Tech Transfer Office, and this is our next edition of Tech Tours. Today we're in the office of Dr. Serena Ergus, Civil and, and Civil and Environmental Engineering Professor. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for interviewing me. This is great. Um, so your interest, your re research interest is primarily environmental biotechnology and waste water treatment. Mm -hmm. Currently you have three active disclosures with us. Are these independent technologies or can they be worked together? Well, um, all three technologies rely on uh, natural materials um, such as natural zeolite minerals, uh, crushed oyster shells, um, scrap tire chips, um, uh, low cost materials that are able to serve as biofilm carriers. In other words, microorganisms mm -hmm. can attach to these materials. Okay. They provide some benefit to the microorganisms to attach to those materials. For example, they might adsorb different uh, nutrients mm -hmm. that they, they might be able to use or for the oyster shells, they uh, slowly dissolve and produce uh, alkalinity. And so by using these natural materials, they're low cost, they're readily available, they provide this benefit to the microbial community. And so we engineer these systems so that they can benefit the wastewater treatment plant mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. improve nutrient removal. Okay, okay. interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what was your inspiration to focus on environmental biotechnology? Well, I, um, when I uh, first went to grad school, mm -hmm. <laughs> my uh, major professor was uh, Dr. Ed Schroeder, and he was working in that area. He was actually a chemical engineer by training. And I, uh, uh, my first research project for my master's degree was I was looking at microorganisms that could take selenium that was present in drainage water and was causing problems with birth defects in oh. waterfowl. And they could take this material up in their cells and concentrate it and remove it from the water. So, wow, you know, this is really, was really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we could use microorganisms. Microorganisms work for free, you know, so we don't have to pay them. Oh so, God. you know, we could provide low cost, mm -hmm. um, very robust environmental solutions using microorganisms. So from there, I wound up getting a minor in, in microbiology and really focusing my work at the intersection of microbiology and environmental engineering. Awesome. So segue a little bit over in your lab across the street. Are you working with all these or the, the oyster shells and all these things with that? Yes, we have a number of different projects that we're doing. Um, uh, wastewater, uh, we focus a lot on nutrient removal in okay. my lab, especially nitrogen. Nitrogen pollution is a huge mm. issue, especially in Florida. Problems with uh, overgrowth of algae, harmful algae blooms, seagrass mortality, wow. um, you know, uh, hypoxic zones and fish kills and groundwater mm. contamination. So this is a huge issue. Many of the treatment plants in Florida, are, the infrastructure is old. It's yeah. not very energy efficient. Um, they use a lot of chemicals. Uh, and so we're looking for more sustainable solutions. Right. We're also addressing some of the issues of um, on-site wastewater treatment. Mm -hmm. So 25% um, of the homes in the United States uh, have septic systems, yes. and these systems are not going away. Mm -hmm. They are usually in uh, suburban and rural areas where it's not cost effective to put in sewers okay. and centralized treatment systems. So we're working a lot on very, very low uh, maintenance mm -hmm. uh, technologies for on-site systems because when you have a septic system, 
you don't have a trained operator running it. It's usually the homeowner. Maybe right. they have a septic installer that comes every two or three years to, to pump it out. Mm -hmm. So these systems need to be very, very easy to operate, right. very low energy, very uh, passive. We talk, talk about these systems have to really operate on their okay. own. And then the other big area I'd say we're working in is the area of agricultural mm -hmm. uh, pollutants. So, um, for example, I've done a lot of work with Moat Aquaculture Research okay. Park on looking at um, uh, recirculating aquaculture systems, looking at that wastewater from the fish tanks. Can we recover those nutrients and use them to, say, grow plants mm -hmm. or to provide uh, uh, wetland plants? Or we've done some work with periphyte and algae production using the waste from the uh, fish tanks. And then we get the water so clean that we can actually return it back wow. to the fish tanks. So these systems can really be zero yeah. discharge that we take the water from fish clean it up and just Send return it, it right mm -hmm. to the fish awesome yeah so what would be your ultimate goal for your various technologies so um of course like to make this contribution right. to improving the environment and mm -hmm. i know that you know, uh, training students has been, you know, the last 30 years I've been working, uh, teaching and doing mm -hmm. research. I've had many, many uh, undergraduate researchers, master's students, doctoral students who've worked with me and they've gone out and done wonderful things, things. And it's mm -hmm. wonderful to, to see them. But I also know that it's really important to collaborate with people who are able to commercialize these technologies. Right. Uh, oftentimes when we, you know, when we do great research, we write a paper, other academics might read that paper, yeah. but really to have that impact yes. on the environment the, it really has to go out to the, the business community mm -hmm. and be commercialized. Excellent. We're going to try and get you there. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. This was Cheryl Abrigo and Dr. Serena Ergus with USF Tech Transfer. Okay.